Hello, Chamberlain team. This is Christoph with Kaiserworks. I'm going to walk us through suites three and four. We've been having discussions about um, the materiality and, and general design for the space. Today, right now, we're going to be talking about this central feature. This is sort of the, 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 the money shot or the primary move in this space. Um, we, at last count, had shown an image of this uh, similar or the same light fixtures that we have on the third floor overlapping. And we did some investigation there. There's going to be issues with hot spots and casting shadows with that arrangement. So we've come up with a different arrangement of parts that we feel much stronger about. Um, in this first image, this is obviously a sketch. I'm going to go to drawing and digital model next. But the idea is um, that we have a grid um, structure. And I'll just go to this next slide here. Structurally, this is 3 quarter inch uh, class A plywood that would either be painted or veneered. Um, this would be an example of a, of a painted version. This is sort of a close-up of that same version. The difference between what you're looking at here and what we're proposing is that we are proposing LED light strips not on the bottom face but on the top face. Um, and those LED light strips, if I move now to a sketch, the pop-up that we're proposing would come up. There'd be a cove interior so you can your eyes cannot find the edge of that and it would march across all the way and then back down again and then we'd be suspending within that a 20 inch deep structure. This would be that class A veneered or painted um, grid. This is 20 inches deep and it is suspended in a 28 inch volume but it's it's actually protruding four inches down into the space. LED tape light 3000K dimmable would be running across the top. It's approximately 90 linear feet if you're doing everything in the east-west direction only. These LED light strips you would not see. They would be directed upwards, and so this becomes the lantern. This this elevated ceiling plane that's 28 inches above the existing framed ceiling plane becomes an illuminated plane that light washes down through. So that's we couldn't actually find a good image of, of what that looks like. Um, but if you imagine the upper portion being the brightest portion and it gradates down and then this this whole thing would feel like a large lantern in the space which this sketch was um, trying to connote. I'm going to move now to the digital model. Um, we're still a little bit back and forth on two materialities. The rest is dialed in. That is, um, so just to describe what we have dialed in, we have our flagstone eco um, flooring that comes into this space here. There's a transition to a wide plank white oak flooring that is of the same tonality. We think that's nice to be in the same color tonality but not a you know not a dramatic contrasting shift but this will have a different feel back in this sort of bullpen area. We're proposing not a recessed curtain track but a curtain track that's actually suspended as an object in the room. This is a one and a half inch diameter powder coated piece of metal that suspend that the curtain is suspended from and that is suspended from the ceiling plane and I'm going to move to another couple images. This is the TV that would be positioned on the wall so that when a meeting is going on um, you get this much grander moment where you can draw the curtains so this becomes sort of back of house area and this becomes a, 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 either a good workspace, community work table where people can come have their lunch, work on a laptop or it becomes a presentation area um, if the main conference room in the lobby area is being used for example. In the sketch we had showed that wide plank white oak on this wall here. We're a little bit back and forth on that, but we actually like texturally, we're liking either tectum, similar to what we're doing on the third floor, or a colorized tectum. So this could be a color version of what we have on the third floor. We like the tectum for what it does acoustically in the space. It deadens sound when we have a lot of hard surfaces. That's important in a space like this. Moving to another perspective here. This is looking back towards the south and towards the east looking back into that realm that will be sort of the back of house area, we're proposing a sheer curtain. So we're not blocking this out entirely, but you're definitely creating a zone when you pull that curtain. Um, for the table, we're considering doing a blue or a, a blue tinted glass on a different uh, sort of a variation of our table that we're doing for the, for the third floor. This would be edited so that it could support a glass top, and we're looking at that now. Um, this is what is needed first and foremost. We have an RCP that is dimensioned showing exactly what we just saw in the digital model. This is the floor plan with that grid floated above it. And this drawing here, we're not showing the grid for sake of clarity. And I'm going to move into zoom into that drawing right now. So we've provided dimensions 
off of the existing structural beams because those are hard and fast and we know we know that those are um, dimensions we can rely on. So for example here we have a beam that runs through the space, there's another beam that runs through the space, so we're pulling dimension strings off the center line of those beams. So we have a pop-up that's approximately 15 foot 8 um, in one direction and then in this direction it is 9 feet and again it's 28 inches deep. So you can see here the ceiling plane in this zone is 11 foot 10 inches versus 9 foot 6 in the, in the other area. Can lights are where we've been showing the can lights. This again is our curtain track overhead that is suspended as an object um, that the curtain runs on. And then here again we're not showing the grid that lives inside of here but that gridded structure is four inches inboard of the rectangle that I just described. And then on the ceiling plane of that pop-up rectangle we have an air diffuser and an air diffuser. These are currently located very close by. Um, one is located here, one is located here. And because of the visual clutter that those present in their current location, we're proposing shifting those slightly into this rectangle because they're going to live high and tight above this moment here. So you literally have to get on the conference table and look straight up to see to see those air registers. And I'll go back to this sectional sketch that I showed previously. Um, Um, and here you can see those registers. They'd be positioned so that they would shoot air down through this waffle structure. Um, and again, you would you would see these if you got directly below. I think you'd have to lay on the table and look straight up. We're showing a J box located up here. Um, all of the LED light strip, the approximately 90 linear feet of 3000K dimmable LED lights, would run off of one switched dimmable J box and then the power for that, that low voltage that leaves that J box or leaves the transformer that's sitting directly adjacent to the J box would run down one of these um, suspension cables. We think the best way to suspend this is to attach um, cable or heavy gauge wire directly to the metal deck that's high high above. Initially we were investigating blocking down below but I, I think if we just go another you know 20 inches above that point we have a a metal deck that we can suspend to and we are showing that here in this axonometric drawing with eight connection points so you'd have these eyelets that are secured to the metal deck and those would come down and register at the the um, the intersection of these these planes I'm gonna move now back to this plan um, I think we've we've pretty much touched on everything but let me just zoom into this plan here and you can see the delineation here so you have this gridded structure that fits inside and there's an 8 inch border between the two so they have clear separation light would be coming out from the edge of this thing as well as through these void spaces in between um, so I think that that's a wrap that gives us what we need to move forward with um, getting things dialed in for our, our um, final inspection for the for electrical and we'd love to hear your thoughts on this generally we'd also love to hear your thoughts materially um, we're continuing with another visual that I think is going to help bear out what the materiality of this wants to be um, thank you